¿Dónde está el motor? ¿Dónde está el motor? ¿Dónde está el motor? ¿Dónde está el motor? ¡Motor! ¡Vamos! Venga, ya va a llegar. Ahí está. Chavales, vamos a hacer una cosa. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Este es el vídeo que he puesto antes que me había salido. Eh... El motor de una Kawa 500, básicamente, entiendo, ¿no? Entonces, si os parece, lo vemos. Lo vemos, ya hemos comentado toda la actualidad, ya hemos comentado todo. Ya vamos a darle un poquito de caña. Este yo lo sigo en Instagram. Y este hace un montón de cositas de esta de aluminio, tío. De cubrecarte, de protectores, de chasis. Pff, brutal. Vamos a ver qué es lo que... Qué es lo que ha hecho. Aquí, ¿vale? A ver, espérate, que te traduzca. Put any content up. Uh, just been busy, so... I'm gonna start this KX500 build and I thought it'd be a great la culata está muy fresh. To, uh, Hombre, yo la culata la he visto en la miniatura. Vamos a verla ahora. Vamos a verla. On the channel here. Yo lo sigo en so Instagram, eh. Follow my Instagram page. You'll o sea, know that I just worked heavy, on a KX500 and it was a 93 I did it for a customer. Es de Panther. No lo sé, tío. Really, Vamos a verlo. Really like that no bike. tengo ni idea. So I went ahead and picked up my own. Ya lo la descripción. The 91 KX500. Order a Patria, sí. sí. Uh, and then probably this winter tear it down sí. and clean it up Espérate, a little bit more. Espérate, vamos a ir un poquito Artur Ron, si no. Uf, okay. All right, guys, let's run through what we've got for this KX500 build. Uh, like any good Facebook pintado, marketplace sí. find, this bike came in boxes. And it came La encontró en el marketplace de Facebook, and metía en cajas. A couple sets of wheels. Uh, we had two sets of forks, uh, just oh, lots okay, of parts. Yeah. I don't know why the guy had so many spares, um, but I've, I've kind of gone through what, what came with the bike and picked out the good stuff that I want to use. Um, so I've got a box here. ¿Dónde está el motor? I need to ¿Dónde está el motor? clean, uh, vapor blast some of it. And then we've got the frame. El chasis está pintado azul It's got this uh, nice blue powder coat job dice, un bonito on it. trabajo de pintura nice en polvo job. es verdad que es azul uh, lo que voy a decir que es azul pero que, que está bien pintado este, de hecho es lo, que, es lo que hice un bonito trabajo de pintura pero es muy feo es que una cagua en azul Yamaha tío this is the box that has a lot of good uh, new parts in it muchas piezas nuevas um, not the coil but uh, lots of bearings we've got foot pegs I actually powdered yeah, some of this stuff already in preparation, um, wheel bearings, that kind of stuff, chain and sprockets, new. Uh, what else is in here? I, I already cleaned the carb, got that ready to go. Had the Weisco box with just a bunch of uh, nuts and bolts and miscellaneous parts from the bike. Um, suspension, the rear shock is just OEM, and it did come with two pairs of forks. Uh, they I'm not going to use them. The triple clamps were all messed up and somebody powder coated the inside of the IDs and the fork tubes weren't fitting in it and they dremeled it and it was it's just a mess. So, I'm going to upgrade the forks. Sí, sí, los tubos de la suspensión no no encajaban y los dremelaron. I've got Pero imagino que es el latija. Forks, their KYBs off from a 2002 KX250. So, I'm going to swap these onto it. They're 48 millimeters. Uh, they're gonna feel 10 years newer on the bike, right? Um, so a little bit more modern front suspension. And I've got a, I just today ordered a pair of Emig triple clamps for it that he said I should have next week. So uh, this should come together pretty quick, uh, depending on whether I go with powder coating or rattle can on the frame. Uh, guys, it's gonna be a rider, so For now, I'm almost thinking I'm just gonna rattle can over the powder coat, and uh, just and that would only be to touch up the areas where I'm gonna uh, add the gussets. El chasis está bien pintado, o sea, es el color, pero vamos, el trabajo es bueno. Por lo menos si de lejos lo mismo lo ves de cerca y no. Pero... I'm thinking Pajita I'm gonna relace. Oh. This is the wheel from the 2002 KX250. I've got the rotor for it. I'm going to run the full uh, front brake setup from that KX250 uh, and probably go with some black XL wheels. So 
We'll lace one of these rear wheels up. Pero va a hacer todo el rato hablando. A black Yo creo que va a hacer valía a montar el motor de la. That KX250 wheel. A ver, igualmente. All right, we're getting to the good stuff here. Mira las violetas, loco. JT Engine Works. I've got the gusset kit from them. Uh, I did this on the last build that I did. It was a 93 KX250. And this gusset kit is awesome. So it's uh, wire EDM'd out of a plate. And they're all stamped with a designation on them that uh, lines up with the instructions that come with it. So it comes with instructions um, showing you where to put each gusset and then each gusset is labeled. And they all come all um, in this plate. So they just, and that last little feature, they don't go all the way through. And then you just snap them out like uh, you're putting together like a car model, right? So then you get your piece out and, uh, you can hold that place. I thought that was pretty clever. And then I also got a set of their dog bones. So these are the 132 and a half millimeter bones that uh, yeah, everybody makes them, right? Emig Racing, Pro Circuit. Uh, but I, I went to JT Engine Works. They did a great job with their gusset kit. And uh, these bones are high quality. I mean, the finish on them's just a mere finish. They've got uh, bushings inserted into them. Uh, they're, you know, they've got that cool engraving on the side. Uh, so what they're going to do is raise the back of the bike 10 millimeters. And by doing so, uh, the bike is going to handle better. So uh, raising the back of the bike puts more weight on the front, so it's going to turn better. And then it's also going to change the, the stroke and slow down the rear shock so it kicks less. Uh, a lot of these older KX's uh, didn't handle so great. So these, I'm looking forward to testing it with these dog bones on here. El motor, vamos. Venga, va a llegar. Ahí está. So here is the heart of the bike. KX 591. So this came with the cylinder off and I've, and the power valves were apart. Uh, I've gone ahead and I did hydro blast the head and I hydroblasted the cylinder and I've gone ahead and reassembled the power valves and I've gone ahead and obviously put the cylinder on and, and got that torqued. My plan is to assemble the head, plug all the ports motoraco, eh? and just give the whole engine a quick blast uh, in the hydroblast cabinet. And I've done this before with, with good success but uh, yeah, you can see the, uh, well, maybe not at that angle because the light, but you can see the power valves in there. They're working nicely now. Pero no they, were, uh, no they were a little culata, notchy. I don't know. It took a little while for me to get everything clean. I had to hydroblast everything. Somebody had gone through with a wire brush and attempted to clean them and didn't get, a, didn't get it as clean as it needed to be to function properly and the first like the center power valve flap was in there upside down and I'm assuming that's why they abandoned the uh, the top end rebuild because they couldn't get the power valves back together uh, ha dicho que la válvula de escape estaba montada al revés y que probablemente fuera ese el caso por el que dejaron la reconstrucción que no daban con la tecla put this head on, torque it down and blast it but the big surprise for this build is what showed up from Fathead Racing Ooh. this week. So I got in touch with Luke and he sent me a lime green Fathead Racing head with the stock dome in it. So I, I don't want to run any kind of... Um, I just want to run pump gas, you know. I don't want to run any high octane fuel or anything like that. Uh, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. And beautiful. one of the big draws beautiful. for this is the decompression valve. Uh, so when it's actually, let's pull this head off and let me just set it on here so I don't have to hold it. There we go. 
So it has this decompression valve and you just pull out on this guy and it lets you kickstart the bike a whole lot easier. Mamma and mia. then when it's running, pops no back la quiero, in la necesito. and you've got full compression again. Um, and I've been told that you can angle, yeah, you can angle this right here if you need to, to line up better with the uh, radiator. The radiator is like right here and the, uh, the neck that comes off from it is at a weird angle. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about getting this build going. Um, it's the kit that he sent, you know, it's got a bunch of cool stickers. He sent me the t-shirt that I'm wearing, uh, which is pretty cool. And it looks like I've got a couple uh, sets of O-rings in here. Uh, so it'll get me through a couple rebuilds if I need to. Um, packing slip. And we've got some... Uh, acorn nuts and copper washers to put the head on so pretty cool I'm thinking that's all that's in there but yeah uh, hit up uh, Fathead Racing if you guys uh, are looking for a cool head Le queda for your next project Espectacular. Pues chavales, eh, 12 de la noche. Uy, llevamos ya, yo que sé, una hora y media o yo que sé cuánto llevamos ya. Nos vamos. Ahí. Eh, nos vamos, nos vamos, ¿vale? Nos vemos mañana, chavales. Muy buenas noches a todos. Gracias por estar, haber estado ahí. Y lo dicho, mañana nos vemos.